morning commute to walking through town, even during a workout. MP3 players have millions of Americans jamming to personal playlists. It's motivating and um, it's actually some private time that I have where I'm not interrupted by other people or other distractions. But while you're busy turning up the tunes and drowning out distractions, you could be doing permanent damage to your hearing. The higher the intensity of the sound, the, uh, the shorter the safe period of time to, uh, to use it. Sound is measured in decibels. A quiet room comes in at just about 40 decibels. A vacuum cleaner, right around 70. Prolonged exposure to sounds above 90 decibels, the equivalent of a motorcycle, can cause gradual hearing loss. <laughs> three players can get anywhere from 60 to 120 decibels, as loud as a jet plane taking off. Dr. Daniel Landis explains that the small, lightweight earbuds that most people use with their MP3 players don't block out a lot of background noise. So to hear the music, people wind up cranking the volume louder than they realize. I think they need to be conscious of the fact that uh, that if they're not careful, there's a tendency to make it louder, make it louder, make it louder. Mary Dreyer is a speech therapist at Hollymead Elementary. She says it's especially important to make sure kids and teens are listening to their music safely, or they may develop noise-induced hearing loss as they grow older. Kids who, who are listening to MP3 players kind of do it all the time. It's, it's different than listening to the radio or something. So how loud is too loud? Dreyer says it really depends on how long and how often you listen to your MP3 player. But as a general rule... If, if parents can, can hear the sound coming from earphones or earbuds, it's, it's too loud. And, and over time, certainly, um, a person's hearing will deteriorate. You find yourself continually turning it up to compete with background noise. It's a little warning sign that you know maybe you should do something different, and don't be offended if somebody around you says, "Hey, maybe you should turn that down a little bit." I can hear it all the way over here. So, how can you protect your hearing? One way is to use headphones like this that do a better job of blocking out background noise, and you won't be as tempted to crank up the volume. And if you want to listen to your music at a high volume, just don't do it for a long time and take breaks to give your ears a chance to recover. You can also adjust the settings on many MP3 players to lower the maximum volume.